My precious child, I long to grant you wisdom and understanding of prophecy. From Genesis to Revelation, my word is filled with prophecies. When I came into the world I created, many were fulfilled. Some prophecies have been fulfilled and will not happen again, while others have been fulfilled repeatedly. Remember, my child, as Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells you, what is happening now has occurred before and will happen again because I, the Lord your God, repeat the same events. It is important to note that no prophecy in my word originated from the prophet's own understanding or human initiative. Instead, the prophets were moved by my spirit and spoke my words. My dear child, in order for me to impart wisdom and revelation from my word, you must approach it with the humility of a little child. In the past, your pride prevented me from granting you wisdom and revealing truth from my word. Many of my people have proclaimed the fulfillment of a prophecy without realizing that it had already been fulfilled in the past, because, as I said, I repeat the same events. As my word states in James chapter 1, if you need wisdom, ask me, your generous God, and I will give it to you without rebuke. However, when you ask, make sure your faith rests solely in me, the Lord your God. Do not waver, for divided loyalty renders my children as unsettled as waves in the sea, tossed by the wind. They should not expect to receive anything from me when their loyalty is divided between me and the world, for they become unstable in all they do. My beloved child, as you receive my words now, I am pouring out my faith into your life by my spirit. You will live with my faith for the rest of your days. Your faith will move mountains, and you will not only walk but also speak by faith, not by sight. Prepare yourself. For I will reveal wisdom and revelation from my word to you in ways you have never experienced before. But always maintain the humble heart of a child. You are my masterpiece, the apple of my eye, fearfully and wonderfully made in my image. I have anointed your head with oil, and you are my hands and feet. You are one of many whom I have chosen to carry my glory. I the Sovereign Lord, have called you and your fellow brothers and sisters by name from your mother's womb. 